Governor Bentley, I understand that you will be watching my video along with others and you will be sitting in a seat where you will have to make a decision, much like I had to. Um, as a former juror, I would recommend to pay attention to the facts. Pay attention um, to the things that just don't add up. The things that are not tangible. Um, when you're listening to people, listen to them, listen to their heart. Not necessarily your heart, but listen to them and what they're saying and the words that they use. This decision can be made without, in my opinion, in your shoes, I think you can make this decision without being a sympathetic person. I think you can make this, of course, that would be good. I think you can make this decision um, just on the facts in front of you. Um, this man was never proven guilty. And that's what we had to do. We had to make the decision on just what was available to us. And he was never proven guilty. Um, please pay attention to the job that you gave or the state gave us to do at the time and what was expected of us. And we did that. We did everything that was expected. And we made our decision with what was given to us. And we made the right decision. You gave us responsibility. You gave us rules. Um, we abided by that. We, did, we abided by that to the letter. We did what the state asked us to do. These rules have been in place for a long, long time. And I'm just asking you to do the same thing. Um, we recommended that this man's life be spared. And we were right to do that. Even the people that thought he did it, the people that voted guilty, still requested for this man's life to be spared. I don't know why they did. I know why I did, because he's not guilty. I'm, from day one, I never thought he was guilty. And that's why it's so important to me, because I was part of that. Almost 20 years ago, I was part of that. And I thought I had a chance to help someone. And it backfired. They took that away from me. I endured everything that you asked me to, that the state asked me to. And my family endured. And his family suffered. And we did what we were supposed to do. And it backfired. It, 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 it was taken away from us. We voted this man to have life without parole. And that's what it should be. The judge should not have taken that from us. He still doesn't have a reason why. And, and, and we don't understand why it was taken from us. But just listen. Listen to everybody. Pay attention. You're a smart man. You're a sympathetic man. And you will know when you listen and I just ask that you please, please search your heart and, and spare this man's life. Thank you.